We've got Selena's big reveal during her romantic trip to Vegas with Biebs. Ariana Grande is Chris Brown's love interest in a new music video. And is Beyonce prego with baby number two? Ooh, I hope so. We've got all of this and more on today's Rundown. Guess what? What? So glad you asked. It's the Daily Hollywood <laughs> Rundown with Aaron and Misty, of course. Happy Monday, you guys. What's you that? know that means that we have another Mess Up Monday coming really soon. That's but right. first, Jelena is coming up. So what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas when you're Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. No so these two on-again lovebirds kind of shacked up in Sin City this weekend, and we have all the details. So first of all, the two got a three-bedroom penthouse suite. Thank you very much. And they also spend a lot of time in a private pool lounge area at this club called Breathe. Um, Justin was there, not just for Selena. Right. He was there for Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s big fight this weekend. Of course he was. And so he spent a lot of time with his buds, but Selena Gomez also spent a lot of time with some girlfriends, yep. hanging out by the pool, looking super sexy, and this black and white kind of like chevron swimsuit. I love her bikini. So cute. It's adorable. So yeah. So cute. But really the big highlight of the weekend was Selena debuted some new fringe, and by fringe I mean bang and bangs. I love her bangs. I oh. think she totally rocks it. She pulls it off. She well. says they're Suki Waterhouse inspired. I can get that kind of correlation there, but she looks amazing yeah. in bangs. But they're fake, so, right? I don't think so. I think they're fake. No, I think they're real. Speaking of lovebirds, yes, great <laughs> transition, Erin. Ariana Grande has a song with Chris Brown, don't yeah. forget, right? Don't Be Gone Too ago. Long. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be on his album that comes out tomorrow, X. So Chris actually debuted the music video for this song. Finally, he directed it, and it's sort of this like fairy tale, medieval, dark theme where him and Ariana are getting very cuddly at the beginning of this video, and then some sort of like Game of Thrones looking army tears him apart, and then she's like banished to a tower, and then you actually get to see the both sides of her face, and then Chris is like doing all this modern dancing, and she's a ballerina, and then they're cuddling in a field, and look. Do you think they're like too close here? Um, I think there's some chemistry going on there. But can I just say I'm really glad that Ariana got shot from both sides of her face. Since well, because this isn't so her video, anal. so she has no control. Yeah, I wonder what she thinks about the right side of her face being exposed. By the way, I think she has a beautiful right side of her face. Yes, yeah, she does. And yeah. I wonder what Big Sean's thinking about her and Chris uh, in this uh, video. Uh, More love story news. Yeah, so the brand new <laughs> final trailer for The Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 1 is out and it's on fire! Okay, so we see in this, PETA is brainwashed mm -hmm. under the control of the Capitol, which is really terrifying. And then, did we mention spoiler alert, by the way? Okay. No, no, no. It's actually like one of the things I love about this trailer is that it doesn't give away too much of the plot, which is kind of nice. So Katniss finally finds out that Pete is still alive, and she's like, "Whoa! Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a Mockingjay. I want to go save Pete. Either you yeah. save him or else." And then there's like mass hysteria everywhere. But did you notice that Gail and Katniss were teaming up together to shoot down that Capitol like drone thing? Mm -hmm. So I haven't read the books, I have to say, and I am really pleased that there weren't too many giveaways. There's a lot left to the imagination. And I cannot wait to see like what happens between Gail and Katniss and Peta. And I'm just so excited, can you tell? I think there was a little bit of spoiler action. Keeping the whole love thing going. I love that Monday is all about love. Yeah. You guys, the rumor mill is freaking out that Beyonce might be pregnant with Bay Bay number two. I hope so. Here's why they performed their on the run tour in Paris on Friday night, and Jay Z is now starting more rumors. Remember, they supposedly started the divorce rumors. Right. Jay Z changed the lyrics to one of his songs, the song Beach is Better. He replaced, I replace it with another one to because she's pregnant with another one. <gasps> Supposedly, that's what he said. Now, Paris is very special for them. I could totally see them revealing this in Paris because that's where Blue Ivy was conceived and that's where they got engaged. Are you sure that's where they, she was conceived? He said that to the audience. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Missy, you know all the details. <laughs> I know way too much. Know I actually dreamed about, Be about Beyonce last night. I'm not kidding. That's like, not kidding. Okay. Pathetic. Okay, so um, I'm getting really hot now. <laughs> I'm always hot. Speaking of the on the run tour, 
Beyonce surprise bringing out Nicki Minaj oh. on Friday and Saturday night in Paris to do the flawless remix. Of course, they were matching in Versace. You <laughs> have to watch. Beyonce's like lip syncing to Nicki's rap first. I know, Sasha Fierce. So fierce, you guys. And Nicki was so fangirling over her performing with Beyonce. She posted tons of Instagram photos and this one selfie of the two of them and she captioned it, the queen could never thank you enough. Love that they're I, I ship these two so hard. And there's more Beyonce Jay-Z news. Okay. <laughs> so today, they had this Bang Bang Part 1 short film come out. It's just like a two minute long short film. It's part of their HBO special that's coming out on September 20th. And it definitely continues their on the run theme, like mm -hmm. their gangsters. It's black and white, there's no dialogue. What did you think of it? Um, I thought it was sexy. I think it's more of what we've already seen so far. Yeah. So it wasn't like breathtakingly like astonishing to me. But I do feel like they should make a movie together. Well, this is it apparently. They go to this like diner in the California desert where some guy's reading news about them and Jay-Z gets pissed and puts his cigar in his sandwich and then they run off again. Very romantic. To be continued. It is Monday, which means Misty and I are debuting a brand new Messed Up Monday and it's always embarrassing. Three, two, and one. Actually, one of the photogs that photogs. One of the photographers. <laughs> <laughs> photographers? That is so country. <laughs> I had a photographer take photos. I'll just snort and it'll be perfect. Just snort. It's perfect now. I have a perma wedgie in this jumpsuit. Thanks for asking. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Did that sound like a fart? Apparently Aaron messes up more than I do. Um, can I just also- Where's my bloopers? Can I just also say that no one actually farted during that moment? I, I didn't fart, you didn't fart, did you? <laughs> okay, before you go, tell us what do you think of the new Mockingjay trailer and do you like Selena's bang, bang, bangs? And I wanna know if you think that Misty actually tooted during our last Who filming. Who says tooted? I do, cause fart sounds so wrong. Anyway, you guys let us know in the comments. We will be back here tomorrow for a brand new DHR, Aaron Robinson and Misty Kima. Peace. You can click right here to catch up on Friday's show with Misty and Aaron bringing you a brand new Clever It and oh, so much more. Don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. <laughs>